You know, um, it was such an interesting conversation I had with you, Liz, about our emotions covering up the reality that's really there. You know, this is so easy to see in other people. Like, you know, have you ever had a friend that you're out with and 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 all of a sudden they they go into a rage about something and you're like, I don't, that's not what they said. That's not what they meant. That is not, you know, I know you think that, but let me, can I help you? I mean, you know, I, you're not seeing this quite right, but they are inflamed and they refuse to see it. You know, all of us are really the same. You know, this is a trigger, right? We get triggered in some way. And today it's become really okay to get triggered. And the world needs to bend around my trigger. I don't need to resolve my trigger. I need all y'all to do, to change your reality, to fit and bend around my trigger. Well, it's not a very healthy way to go through life. You know, I love the saying, if you don't like people pressing your buttons, remove the button. You're the one who put it there inadvertently in the first place. Now, I think that some of these buttons, right? Well, I know that some of these buttons were handed down. You know, there's this amazing science uh, uh, that happened over at UCSD here in San Diego. And uh, there's a Dr. Diaz who had a uh, uh, a little box it was electrified and he had mice in it. Now these mice, what he did is he, he had this fruity chemical smell and he, and he would wave the chemical smell this over this bottle over the mice. So they smelled this fruity smell. And then I think this is really horrible, but he electrocuted the mice, shocked them. So they smelled the fruity smell and then they got shocked and they were like, ah! well, he went over a period of time and kept doing it. Fruity smell, shock, you know, time passes, fruity smell, shock. So he traumatized these, these mice. And then what he did is he removed the egg and the sperm from the, from the male and female mice and he artificially implanted a embryo from those into another mice that had no idea, never met. This is separated, right? Separated, they never met the original mice. And then the, those mice were born, these new babies, their parents were traumatized that they, that, that, uh, they never met anyway. He put those in a box and then he waved the fruity smell over the box after they had grown up. And you know what they did? They went nuts. Those, those mice were like, oh my God, it's going to be, oh, something bad's going to happen. And anyway, he did the same process for something like, I don't know, three generations or more. And they were all those mice were traumatized generation after generation. So, you know, it might not even be ours, right? You don't know why do I feel really angry, you know, about whatever. You know, for me, I, I didn't understand it. But if someone touched my back in the back of me and, and they could mean nothing, like I'm trying to get through the kitchen, but, and they pushed my back, you know, like, excuse me, oh my God, I would have an emotional reaction for no good reason, for no good reason. It was like, oh, oh, it's on, right? Anyway, through some work, I was able to discover the origin of that. You know, for me, it wasn't even this lifetime. And, and I was like, oh, okay. And now I'm good. People can touch my back and I'm okay. But it's an amazing thing. Let's you know, I love this conversation, Bill. There's so much science backing this. And yet, uh, collectively, 
our conscious collective, we've sort of forgotten about it. It's called a Pavlovian response. And when you hear the word, you're like, oh, yeah, there is that. The idea is that our body has its reasons. Now, those mice have no logical mind to consider that fruity smell and add it up. A trigger was installed in them through their nervous system to respond as a threat. Fruity smells are a threat for our genetic line. What I love about it, Bill, is it's just information. The mice were given information, data. We are given information, data. I love that you were talking about the word triggered and it's not a very popular way to think about this, that when you have a trigger, you are holding that problem in your life permanently. <laughs> You're locking it down, you know, keeping it sealed in. And then your body is literally emanating that issue and you are going to run into it again and again. The more triggered you are, the more triggered you are. And triggered means I'm not safe. And then you're going to make decisions based on that trigger when the truth is it may not even be real and it may not even be yours. And it may be something as silly as a fruity smell or a, or a pat on the back that sends your life tumbling, tumbling, tumbling into a catastrophic accident or a catastrophic relationship or a physical illness. So when you have the ability, the tool like Cogno movement to recognize, okay, I just had a feeling in my body that I know is going to create a series of experiences that I'm not going to like, you have the power to change that experience. You have the power. It create, makes you ultimately powerful over your destiny because now you can shift it to a way that you can see a perspective in which you're not triggered at all. You actually may have compassion for the person just said the thing that you don't like or touched you on the back or smelled like a certain perfume or said a word that sends you back to childhood. You may actually have someone standing in front of you that could be the greatest love of your life. Friend, parent, spouse, child. But you can't see it because your body is lighting up over information that really does not. It doesn't work anymore. It doesn't count anymore. It's old news. It's an artifact. To me, this is the most wonderful thing that we now know, Bill, is that we have the ultimate power to change it. We can remove the button. Absolutely. That's just it. If people are pushing your buttons, remove the button. It couldn't be said better than that. And that's the tool that we have. So if you're a mechanic, right, you got to have the tools for the machine you're working on, correct? Right. You're working on a car, you have the tools that work for a car. If you're an electrician, you have a specific set of tools. We created a set of tools that work on that system that gets triggered over things that aren't a real threat. <laughs> we have the set of tools, the mechanics tools that can adjust the system that is literally emanating from your body, the experience you're gonna have next. So you get to choose if you have the right tool. Okay, so Bill, this Thursday, it is January the 19th. We are having our kickoff class for the year. It's our $97 class, which we know everyone loves. It's 90 minutes. What's so special about this class, Bill? What's special is, is that you are actually experiencing this is experiential. You're going to go through an actual experience to change your level of consciousness. You'll be able to keep this class and take it with you and repeat it. 
and apply it to other things. So it's super valuable. Yeah, this class is really fun. Whenever we do the $97 class, I love them because it's hard hitting. I mean, it's fast paced. It's to the point and you get it done. And like you said, you get to watch it again and again. It's yours to keep throughout the year. So it's one of those things when you need an upgrade, you need a boost, you just turn this thing on and you do it again and you get to work on the next thing. So join us. It is January the 19th. 4 p.m. Pacific time. Like I said, it's a $97 class and everybody's going to be there.